We are back live at the WDSEW RPT Media Lounge at Catalyst in Duluth. I'm Kathy Wurzer. There's so much going on that I'm tripping over my words, and especially when I have amazing guests like Shannon Knoll and Cassie Ayers, both from Second City. Yes, you're yeah, Second City yeah. alum. Mm -hmm. Chicago. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome to this, the Media Lounge. You guys have a really funny project. It's called Just Call Me Ripley. Yes. So give me the synopsis, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw it to a little clip of tape. How would For you describe sure. it? Uh, yeah, so this is a uh, comedy series about, uh, it's a comedic coming out story about a directionless bagel shop employee who's stuck trying to figure out what her sexuality is while trying to maintain this like horrible job. Okay, that's very <laughs> that's succinct, and we're going to go ahead and throw it to the video. Roll that. Oh, hey, Ellen. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I know you don't usually have bagel shop employees on the Ellen show, but I am so grateful to be here representing the second Q in LGBTQQIA+. How do you not know who you're attracted to? I don't know. Like, how do you know, like, what are, like, friend feelings and what are, like, feeling feelings, you know? I was dating six different people who identified as seven different genders. There are seven genders? More than that. They were agender, bigender, genderqueer, gender nonconforming, gender hexagon, gender dodecahedron, and Miami. Miami is a city. And a gender. I know around here is the gay Yoda. Come talk to me about your problems. I'll figure them out with you. I guess what I'm most afraid of is that I've been lying to everyone, including myself, my whole life. I thought that if you were gay, you just knew, like, someone like handed you a gay card or something like that. What? Excuse me, but this is the ladies' restroom. What do you think you're doing in... Okay, I gotta say, I think writing comedy is the hardest thing to do. Because you guys are second city, you, you know how to do this, you know <laughs> what's funny, but how do you work your way through something like this? That is a very funny show you guys have, but how hard is it to write? Thank you. Um, I personally find comedy easier than drama, so I'm like, what, how do you do the other stuff, you know? <laughs> what, what is funny to you? Oh man, mostly people falling down. Uh, <laughs> but like if they're okay afterwards, but like, you know. Yeah, dangerous, but safe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of, I think creativity in general is a muscle and I think comedy is the same thing on a smaller scale. So Shannon and I have been doing comedy for 10 years and because of that, you know, every day you work at it a little bit and ultimately I think it does also just suit our personalities. Okay. Uh, and that's kind of why we're friends in the first place, I yeah. think, is just having a weird, twisted sense of humor. <laughs> What are your hopes for this series? I mean, what if you wave a magic wand, what do you want to have happen? Honestly, I created the idea of it to reach um, queer folks in areas that don't have a large queer community. So for this series in particular, I would love for it to give people a sense of community that don't necessarily have that if they're struggling to come out or explain their identity to their family. Something that was really important to us in making this was that we tell a kind of queer story that we don't have a lot of access to. So often coming out stories are really focused in on the trauma and kind of the intense hardships of that. And, while and there coming, are. Exactly. And yeah. while coming out mm -hmm. is a very hard thing, and we certainly touch on that with the character in the series, uh, there is a full spectrum of that experience. And so the more we can tell stories kind of on that spectrum, the more that we can have those conversations and allow young people who are worried about coming out see that you know it doesn't have to always be a melodrama of your life. Some people may support you or some friends, and you may have moments that we can laugh at in hindsight about how that all came to be. Right. So this is a, a web series. Yes. And who are you hoping picks, picks this up? I mean, again, best of all possible worlds, Netflix. I mean, of course, Netflix. Of course. I think also for both of us, it's a calling card. For me personally, because I'm non-binary and look a little bit different, I don't get a lot of traditional auditions. So I wanted to create a role for myself that I could showcase myself as a performer and a writer in roles that I would like to play. 
Okay, so you're, by the way, welcome home. I should say that um, Cassie's from Badness Heights. <laughs> so, what's it like to be back in Minnesota with a project like this and Catalyst being the content festival that it is? It's so exciting. I was so excited to find out that it was in Duluth. That was so surprising to me because uh, I moved from Minnesota to Chicago to have more access to the arts and then I just recently moved to Los Angeles because, uh, yeah, I was finding I needed more access to film and television. But I love that so many communities including Duluth now, are bringing more content like this here and making more space for this and, you know, getting tax incentives and all the things that allow us to make more art here. And I love that. In an ideal world, I love Minnesota and I wouldn't have had to leave to do my work. So what an amazing thing to come back here and be able to have family come and see what I've been doing and kind of a cool full circle moment. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, this has been screened already at the festival? It has. We have another screening on Sunday at 1.20. So what's been the reaction? Because I can only imagine, I would, personally, I'd be sweaty palmed having someone <laughs> watch something that means so much to me. So what was the reaction like that first screening? Uh, it was great. Like We got a lot of positive feedback, and um, we got laughs during it, which is what we as comedians want people to laugh at. <laughs> we fell down on the way out for good measure. Um, <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, and we had some, I had some people tell me, oh, I think my older daughter will really like this show. Or It's so awesome to see that even people who don't identify as queer, are, it's resonating, and maybe they're understanding people in their life better. Or they're like, oh, this could be a tool for me to have a conversation with someone in my life that I want to connect with about these topics. I actually, I have a very dear, beloved friend who is gay, older man, and he saw your trailer and he oh. said, God, I wish there would have been something like that for me and that my friends could have seen this back in the day. That's so lovely. So there you go. That's yeah. exactly it. That's so I think that's, so congratulations. I mean, that's what you're looking for, right? Yes. Do you have any other projects? I mean, I know this is a big project that you're actually focused <laughs> on, like a laser, yeah. but anything else in the hopper that you're working on? Well, I'm a stand-up, so I tour doing stand-up, and uh, so I'm excited to do that. Uh, have a little bit more time to do that. Again, very difficult. <laughs> I can't, that is a very difficult job, doing stand-up comedy. Love it. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy the rest of Catalyst. And I hope you make a lot of great connections with individuals that you can, that this actually gets a much, much, much wider platform. Do you have any social media accounts that you want to share with folks? Yeah. Right, well, with the Just Call Me Ripley has a social media at Just Call Me Ripley and a website oh. at www.justcallmeripley.com. Okay. And what's your Instagram handle? You can find me at Shannon L. Noll, N O L L, on all platforms. Perfect. And mine is at Cass Money Millionaires. But if you just Google my name, Cassie Ayers, <laughs> you'll find me. I'm going to find that. I really am. <laughs> Cassie <laughs> Ayers, <laughs> Shannon Noll, you two are terrific. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Best of luck. Thank, Thank you. So much. We have much more to come here, so stick around. WDSE WRPT's Media Lounge is full of amazing people. We'll be back in a few minutes.